Topping your news leader four, a fast food worker is dead after police say she got into an argument with another woman in the drive through. Now what you're looking at right now, these are photos police released of the suspect in the Orange Mount incident before she sped away. Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. Hi, I'm Shay Arthur in for April. As WREG's Dorita Patterson tells us, investigators are now trying to put a name with that face we just saw there to track down the woman wanted for pulling the trigger. At the start of a new day, police are still looking for new clues following a deadly attack. Monday night, detectives were called to this church's chicken along Park Avenue in the heart of Orange Mound. In fact, Gregory Houston holds this community close to his heart as it's where he grew up. I wish they have a house out here. It was after he tuned in to WREG. I heard about it on the news uh, last night and it was very sad knowing this area was now at the center of a homicide investigation. To see and hear that a young lady got killed on her job trying to make a living for herself. Police say a female worker here got into an argument with another woman in the drive through lane. Detectives say the employee walked outside to, quote, get some air. Without warning, shots were fired. Sadly, the female worker did not survive. What remains unclear is what prompted the deadly attack, but a stunning new development as this was caught on surveillance camera. Police now able to get a glimpse of the person they're now looking for. The woman police are now looking for at the time of the attack had purple hair and was driving a vehicle with what appears to be a child's car seat in the back. A deadly fight that has those like Mr. Houston in a fight against gun violence. We'll be continued to be, you know, I, I guess in the loss of sounds. <laughs> this Army vet never thought his childhood community would resemble that of a combat zone. For your news leader in Orange Mound, my heart was set. Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, still looking for answers tonight, and the company said the victim had been an employee with them for a year. A company spokesperson says, quote, we are working closely with the Memphis Police Department on their ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, if there's anything you know that could help detectives, call Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. That restaurant's location will be closed for the next few days.